crazy. Here, my honey will hold it for me. I've been in the bed all day long. Stomach problems, stomach problems. Just, oh my gosh, you guys. Stomach fucking problems, like, serious. So I'm like, okay, let's just open the door. Let's just go for a walk. Let's get your sticks too. You're doing We don't need the sticks today. We're just going to do a walk. All right. Really fine. The birds are still chirping out. Mm-hmm. So beautiful. Maybe we'll see Nick. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Yeah. You can see it's cloudy, 54 lovely, degrees. Lovely. Yeah, that sea got me messed up, man. Back to not eating. Everything making me sick. Got blood in my stool. That still has not gone away. That's been going on for like the last three, four years now. Mm. I don't have any hemorrhoids, so that's not the case. I don't know. Sibo's killing me, though. Sibo is killing me. It's not fun. We could do that for you? No. It's really not fun, though. It's. I just feel like it's debilitating. I mean, I, anything that I eat just goes right through me. It doesn't matter if it's a cracker. It doesn't matter if it's a piece of ham. It just... I don't even know how to explain it. It's debilitating, though. Because when you always go to the bathroom, it takes all the energy out of you. We can do it for you. And yeah. then... Yeah. Everybody mm. expects you to be chipper and, and normal. They don't understand that you've been shitting half your fucking life out the fucking ass. And that that's, that's hard to, to... That's hard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard to just, you know, ignore that shit. So, I was like, I'm just going to take a little walk. <sighs> yeah. Just a small little walk. Got to get out because I get cabin fever. I, I don't like it. I don't like to stay indoors, 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 indoors. It just drives me insane. Insane. I get in a bad mood. I get depressed. Even if it's a five-minute love walk. Because today I don't feel good. And um, I've been stuck on the toilet all day long. <sighs> Crazy, dude. This SIBO's got me fucked up. I mean, it's, it's just beating my ass. <coughs> really. It really seriously is. Um, you know, constant diarrhea, blood in my, in my stool, like the whole toilet is all constantly bloody, so I have to constantly clean it because the blood gets stuck on just everything. It's fucking nasty, dude. I don't wish it on any fucking body. It's crazy. It's, it's just, oof. It's like being on, when you have a hangover and you have the dry heaves, it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just, oh God, it's depressing among everything, it's depressing because imagine spending your whole day on the toilet, No. imagine just spending your whole day, 40 no. minutes, 50 minutes on the toilet, No. each time, and you think that when I'm sleeping I don't have it, no I gotta wake up, I gotta do the same shit. Please don't shine that little light because it bothers my eyes. So yeah. I was like, let me just get out a little bit. Get a little walk. And then go back. We're not going up that way, dude. Not today. No. I'm just doing a short walk, guys. I'm just going to do like... That's it. Just a little walk. Whew. Be careful.
because man, this is crazy, dude. I mean, I've had diarrhea for the last three to four years straight fucking diarrhea. I've been to the doctors. They can't find nothing. I have no polyps. I have no hemorrhoids. I've done the tube up my butt. I've done the camera in my stomach. All that kind of stuff. They haven't found nothing in me. But I'm still bleeding. So I'm like, what the fuck? Is it fucking cancer? What the fuck? I have no fucking idea. But I get, I get frustrated, see, because every time I go to the doctors, they're like, well, take a pill for this, take a pill for that. Yeah, just... I'm tired of that, yo. So I, I stay frustrated now. You know what I mean? And uh, all hours of the night, I go up 30, 40 minutes an hour mm -hmm. in the toilet. Constantly. Diarrea, diarrea, diarrea. Tres años, cuatro años, ya lo tengo. Me han hecho tantos exámenes, no tengo hemorroides, no tengo ningún problema. Pero en fin, tengo, I have the digestive system called SIBO. And that is fucking killing me. It is killing me. Man, it's giving me a run for my money. That's all I got to say. It really is. Um, I drink a lot of water. You know, I'll drink orange juice because I need to drink something like more with orange, you know, and then that helps my, it hurts my stomach and sometimes it does it. Everything is just so crazy. My stomach is, I mean, it's bizarre. Three to four years, just imagine. Tres a cuatro años. Cagando sangre, cagando diarrea. Tres a cuatro años. Y no me encuentra ningún problema. And they don't find a problem, but they'll be like, here, take a pill for this. Tome una pastilla pa' esto. Tome otra pastilla pa' esto. De pastilla en pastilla me tienen, tú me entiendes. And then, ah. so I get, fr I'm frustrated, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm frustrated. Three to four years, man, come on. You have no idea. He doesn't have any idea what it does to me. I'm like, dude, I can't do nothing, dude, I'm dead. And I literally just stay in the fucking bed. Like, where I'm going to go right now, I'm going back to bed. That's it, I'm done. I'm done. I'm disabled, you know what I mean? I don't have all, you know, I'm disabled for a reason. Ah, oh, man, fuck. But I'll tell you what, man, it has been depressing. Very depressing. You know? Can't eat hardly anything. I mean, nothing stays inside of me. Everything goes, yes or no, Paul William? Right, that's right. Everything, everything. It doesn't matter what I eat, bro. It goes right through me. And then, uh, I just feel like my stomach's a pool of acid. You know what I mean? And anything that goes there immediately has to be out, gone. It's crazy. But I did a little walk. I know I had to come over here and gripe a little bit because you guys wanna know what's going on with Latina J? My stomach is an array of madness. <laughs> so you know what? Time to smoke the ganja.